Normally, when you want to broach a feature on a part, you would need all this code. And this is about five pages long. But on a Haas machine, we've made it easy to turn those five pages into one can cycle, and you don't need to know how to program to pull it off. My name is Bob Singh. I'm a product specialist here at Haas. Today, we'll be looking at how we use the VPS broaching template on this ST30Y. Now, early traditional broaching was performed on machines dedicated to that process alone, such as a shaving machine, which used a shaped tooth that passed linearly against the surface of a workpiece repeatedly to shear the material to the tooth shape. Then came the use of push or pull type linear broaching machines, which use the same principle of shearing, but use a long tool with multiple teeth that gradually increase in size and depth to form the shape required. Now I myself have run parts using both of these broaching techniques many years ago, and I found that although they perform as required, there are many downsides. Mainly fixturing, initial setup, adjusting sizes, and tool maintenance. In addition, if you consider that a broach tool for a standard 3 8 keyway would stand over four feet tall, you can probably imagine these don't come cheap. On top of all that, these machines and tools can take up valuable space on the machine shop floor. In recent years, the broaching process has been integrated into turning and milling operations. And although it's based on the same principles as the shaping machines from 100 years ago, the technical improvements in tooling and machines have greatly reduced the cycle time and costs. The process to broach on a lathe is very basic. Orientate and lock the spindle at the location required, then using these broaching tools that come with interchangeable carbide inserts, perform the same movements as the shaping machine to form many different shapes on your workpiece. With just basic insert and programming changes, you can do keyways, slots, splines, and even gear teeth. Now here is a typical lathe program broaching using G90. Pages and pages of code that cut the shape of a keyway. Each line on this program adjusts the x-axis ever so slightly in a positive direction until it reaches full depth. And if you need to increase or decrease the depth of cut, all this code would have to be rewritten. Haas not only created a VPS template to eliminate programming for its customers, but we also created a G156 CAN cycle specifically to condense this routine to a few lines and allow the user to make changes in seconds instead of minutes or even hours. So, let's set up this broach tool to machine some keyways into this bore. The material we are broaching is steel and we are using a broach tool to form this 3 x wide keyway. I will insert the tool into the holder and indicate across the Y axis and X axis to verify that the broach insert is perpendicular and on center of the spindle. Now we'll use the probe arm to touch the tool off exactly as I would do a boring bar. We will enter the VPS template by heading over to Edit, VPS, and arrowing down to ID Broach. The animation clearly shows that we're in the correct template and our tool is in the correct position. Okay, so I'll enter the tool number here, the tool offset number, and the work offset number we're going to use today is 54 for G54. The next line asks what is the insert width. Our insert width for this part we're going to make is 0.375, so I'll enter that here. The next line asks for what is the material we are cutting. So we are cutting between a mild steel and an alloy steel, so I'm going to enter M here. You will notice as I enter different types of material, aluminum, mild steel and alloy steel, that our depth of cut starts changing and so does our feed rate. These are only recommendations and can be changed by the operator at any time and I will change the depth of cut to one and a half thou. Next, I will enter my bore size here. The next variable lets you choose the number of broaches you want to machine. Default is set to single. We're gonna change this to multiple broaches. The broach start angle we will set at zero degrees and the number of broaches we're gonna do is three. This will machine three equally spaced broaches 
along the rotation of the bow. The next line is asking for the keyway depth, which is the T value. And if you look at our blueprint here, we can see that it is 0.201. So I will enter that here. The next one is asking for how far away from the face of the part do you want the broach tool to start broaching? We will choose half an inch. And the next line is asking if we want our coolant on or off. We would normally flood the insert with coolant, but for this video, we will turn off that option so it's easier to see what's happening in the cut. The next line, we will enter the depth that we need to broach this part. To achieve optimum results, these inserts work best when they are centered and perpendicular to the workpiece. They also like to exit the cut to a parallel face. So if the back of your blank is raw stock or not positioned true, then the insert may chip much earlier than you'd planned for. So if you are running this on a first operation with raw stock, we suggest that you do what we're doing here, and that is move the broach operation to the second operation, where the jaws are bored and the blank exit face is parallel. If this is not an option, then you could use a back face tool or a groove tool to machine the back surface square before broaching. And do not, under any circumstances, broach all the way to a solid face. As robust as these inserts are, they are designed to push the chip forward and not evacuate them away. So when broaching to a face on the OD or the ID, then a groove or cavity would need to be machined at the end of the broach keyway, so the chips have an exit point. The overall length of our blank is two inches long, so we will go past that by 100 thou and enter 2.1 inches here. Now the VPS template is recommending 250 inches a minute for our feed rate, but we will change that to 400 inches per minute because the material we're using has good machine ability. Our final questions are just to retract the turret home and how we're gonna end the program. We will end it with an M30 now I've entered all the information into the VPS. I'm gonna press F4 and two. We've got a program. Now let's run this. As each pass reaches the end of the cut, the I value in the G156 automatically retracts the tool down a few thousands before it rapid back to the start position. This was created specifically to help protect the critical sharp edges and corners from unnecessary wear when returning back in the z-axis and now the parts complete we can check it with our go and no go gauges to make sure the broach is to spec the gauge fits into the bar and the keyway smoothly and it is safe to remove this completed part from the chuck Here at Haas, the VPS template and G156 code have made broaching our keyways as easy as turning a diameter. And if you turn this tool upside down, you can now enter our OD broach template to machine similar shapes around the diameter. You've got lots of options for cutting these sorts of features on your lathe using G156 and our VPS template. So if you've got keyways and slots to cut, definitely check them out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.